Hi everyone, it's GBGW time with Andrea, and um, I have another visitor here today. It's just, it's me, I'm not it's visiting. Not, it's not another visitor anyway. It's... I have my other husband here. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Nolan is this my is how first I just, husband. This is how I find out. <laughs> Nolan's my first husband, and Lyconius is my second. They're the same person. Are they? Different par- Are they different, though? Different parts of the same person. Are they though? Yeah, that's what the psychiatrist tells me. (laughs) Whatever. Anyway, um, okay, so today's video is actually going to be a a review on GBGW. Um, We've both been playing the game. How long have you been playing the game? Uh, Since day one. I pre-registered. How how much have you logged in during that time? Like, how active have you been? Um, I think I've missed... I've missed a couple of days, and then once I just stopped for a week on just because and then your phone there was a lot going on, and then I broke my own phone, and it took me like a month to get my account back. Yeah. Yep. So I would say minus five or probably minus six weeks out of the fifty-two that have been up. So yeah, forty-six of the fifty-two weeks I would say I have been doing it. Yeah, um, and I've been playing since the beginning of December. I don't think I've missed any days yet. Nice. Yeah, I've missed login bonuses because I forgot to claim them, right, you yeah. know, That's under happened achievement. To me yeah. Once or twice as well, so. But I have not missed once, and I think part of it is also because I mean, I do enjoy the game, but it's also cuz I created a YouTube channel and so doing daily videos, you know, I've only missed videos maybe a week of videos across the whole time. So mm-hmm. Um anyway, so we wanted to do a review on the game. We both actively play it. I I especially wanted that to be a key thing of this. You know, I didn't want to reach out to people who don't actively play it. Um, because it's a good representation of people who play the game. Yes. <laughs> because we actively play it. Anyway, so we wanted to start off with the our, the top five things both of us dislike about the game, and then we'll follow that with the top five things we both like about the game. And um, I'd love to hear if you guys agree or disagree in the comments, and um, and or if um, there's anything that we did not mention. This is not going to be a bash GBGW session, though. And why is that, Lyconius? It's not helpful. No, it's not helpful. And we like the game a lot. That's why we are we. You make videos every day, and we play yeah. almost every day. Exactly. Um, yeah. We so. both really like the game. We it, both feel like the creators have done a fantastic job with it. Mm-hmm. I mean, all things considered, this is a huge game, and I think a lot of players lose sight of the fact that it is a massive undertaking with a lot of moving parts. And so it's impossible to please everyone, but, um, yeah. Ooh, they've got the new one up now. Yeah. I can't wait. Okay, let's go ahead and get going. Um, Nolan, would you like to start with your top five? And these are not in any order. These are the order that occurred to me, which may be indicative of magnitude, but not necessarily. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to do my arenas so that they have something to watch. <laughs> okay, what's my, where's my pros? Right there. That's, Those that's are your cons. cons. We're cons. starting with cons. Cons, um, yeah, sometimes the gotcha will get you. <laughs> that means you don't get stuff for a while, and it can be very discouraging. Yeah, it can be. Because um, I've gone for like a month or so without getting a single pink or purple part, depending on what color you choose to call it. A single four-star <laughs> part from anything. Mm-hmm. And you're like, what the heck? Yeah, no kidding. Like, statistically, that's improbable. Yeah, no, it is. Um, you know. <laughs> I mean, you saw me drawing 60 pilots, and I got zero pink pilots out of 60 of the standard capsule tickets. Yeah, and then one day I did 37 capsules, and my first one was, was a four-star pilot, and then the other 36 were not. <laughs> that's just the way the game goes. Yeah, and so that can be frustrating. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's also the game, so what are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's just best to take it in stride, and just you, if you play a lot statistically, eventually you'll get a bunch of stuff that yep. you want. And, but it won't be everything. Yeah. Um, that you, unless you're putting, ever. unless you're willing to put money into it, and or I do you're know lucky. people who put a lot of money in, and they eventually get everything they want. Yeah. Persistence, though. I mean, the wing zero's been up like three times or four times, and you have a full one, almost double. Me. Almost twice yeah. Over. Yeah, I've all, almost got. So yeah. if you're dedicated and you're careful with your haro, and you if can, you're really lucky. And if you're lucky, <laughs> sorry, I'm not gonna. That is true. There's it is a, true. There's I have a, had some luck with the wing zero. The luck is not an inconsequential part of this game. Nope, it's not. Oh, I didn't one hit. I should have used my my this part right here to kill him. Oh well. Anyway, uh, on to number two. Yep. Uh, the form the the phone format can be not conducive to this battlefield. What do I mean by that? Um, 
Yeah, while I'm playing, we yes. can actually see. The battlefield is horizontal. There's not a lot of, there's no up and down in this. Yeah. Yeah, the battlefield, he means the battlefield is horizontal. So we've got a lot of vertical space, but we don't fight up. We fight side to side. Right. And so visibility from side to side is limited, and that can be frustrating sometimes. Yeah. Yep. Um, somebody to your side is shooting you, and you're like, I can't target them. I mean, you can hit the target button, but they don't necessarily switch to the person that's shooting you. Yeah. Um, and you have to cycle through, because you can click on the, per or I should say, touch the But then if you to... pause long enough, it usually means you're dead, honestly. Yeah, yeah, because you have to keep moving. So. And then also with it being like that, your thumb is frequently covering, or your fingers frequently covering important things. Right. But that's the nature of a mobile game. It's not, yeah. it's not on... Um, a PC, it's not on anything. It's not on. It's not. Like it's that. on a mobile game or tablet. You can use it on the tablet, but not on. Yeah. A desktop. I mean, some people use emulators and do it, but yes. Okay. Uh, three. It takes a lot of space on your phone and continues to grow. Yes. Um, cow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, they keep piling suits in there, which is fantastic, but those mm -hmm. take up space, and yeah. it can be um, a lot to. It's pretty cumbersome already, it and can, it's yeah. going to get pretty big. Yeah, um, it happened earlier in the game, but they had to cut a lot of support yeah. from different phones. And that wasn't their fault necessarily because the phones did support yep. what they were doing. But that's just, you know, there's just technological limitations yeah. to mobile games that yep. you don't have with TVs and stuff like that. Exactly. Uh, oh, yeah, four. I don't necessarily want to do stuff every, <laughs> every day, but their job is to encourage you to play as much as possible. Yep. Um, so I completely understand. But sometimes dailies get tedious. Like once I did qu quit for a week. Yeah. Just because yeah. I was tired of doing stuff every day. And that's actually fine. It, I didn't suffer any severe consequences from that. Um, um, l l breaking my phone for a month sure was. And that wasn't voluntary either because I actually wanted to play the game and then yeah, couldn't. No um, but it's okay to take breaks. Um, it is. It uh, is. Personally. I don't feel like I can. I don't know why. I'm just... I'm uh -huh. such an obsessive person. But I set like, that out. I'm like, I'm not going to play for a week. I had a lot of other things going on. I'm like, this yes, needs to take, take a back a break. seat. Yep. Uh, I've got too much to juggle. And even the 20 minutes or so I'm spending on this game a day. Was was impossible to. It can get out of hand and then ends up being an hour sometimes. And you're Sorry. Like, I, you go? I just handed my phone off to, off to Lyconius. Yeah. But I mean, I enjoy playing the game. So getting sucked in is a good thing from the game's perspective. Right. It's supposed exactly. to be Exactly. Yep. Five part sorting. Has gotten so much better, thank goodness. Yeah, no kidding. Um, but one thing I would like is when you sort for event parts that the highest percentage event part is on top. They're, they're, they're sorted by oh, event. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Because I had to scroll down. I, I missed 70% on my event bonus because I didn't scroll all the way down and see that I had the freedom arms that were yep. plus 50%. You know, yep. that sort of thing. So they've already bumped them to the top, but I'd like it to be also highest percentage first. Yeah. A minor point, but there I have like over a thousand parts to sort through now. And I'm, I'm glad they've spent a lot of time improving the sorting functions, but there's a few things like that I would like to see. Yeah. And that would be relatively easy to do. Relatively easy to implement. Because implement. they've already yeah, implemented they've the been, hardest yeah, part. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Sorting by event parts is the hardest part, so just doing percentage would be fairly easy, I would imagine. And but. you know what? Honestly, I'm sure it's it's to come, you know, because they've fine. made a lot of They've other... made a lot of suggestions. They've, uh, they've really listened to a lot of the suggestions and, oh, heaven's sakes, it was the worst thing searching for those at the beginning of the game when you had yeah. no, you had to just, yeah. It really was. I'm going to do some friend battles while we're doing this, so okay. ATV95, because I haven't done friend battles in a very long time. Search. Okay, so is it my turn now? Yep. Okay, so my first one, actually, let's really quickly look at this. This is Gilgamesh. He is in my Discord server. Um, look at what he's got right here. He is a melee outfighter, 23,300. Um, love the color scheme. He needs to put a, he needs to put a sub part in his uh, main weapon. Oh, there. did he not have mm -hmm. one? Oh, that's too bad. It's red, but he needs to put something in there. I'm going to go ahead and if you're If you're watching... Thor. If you're watching, put something in there. It doesn't even matter what it is. Exactly. Um, okay, so my first complaint about the game is, my current one, is the currencies. There are so many currencies to keep track of. And because the weekly ones change every week, I don't always remember the names of the previous ones. And so I, I hold on to them for a little while just to make sure that I haven't, um, I don't need them, you know? Do they, they, they don't oh, expire. Dang it. They should expire like two, like a week, like when the store closes. 
yeah, I just realized that I've got my my quanta back on instead of the banshee back. I don't use my banshee my quanta back for these things mm. because the ex skill doesn't load up fast enough. So I'm gonna do again do it again against Gilgamesh. Anyway, okay, so that's my my first complaint that came to mind. Again, these are not in any particular order. Um, then my next one is I still hate having to long press to open up anything. That really drives me nuts because it's just. I feel like it should be a single press a lot of the time. You know, when you're in your list of, of items and things like that, you should be able to single press. Yeah, you spend most of your time doing the, th the function that takes the long press. Okay, I'm not going to fight him again. You won. Anyway. <laughs> exactly, there's no point. Um, okay, and then also, um, I want to be able to... I love that... Okay, I want to be able to sort by suit name. Oh, yeah, that would be great. It would sometimes be. I just want to look at the buster, and I can't. Yeah, like I like. Or for instance, it would give a ton of information if you had to sort by suit suit name because you know you'd be like, okay, pick which suit name. But sorting by series is already difficult um, because so many of the series have so many suits in them. So I was like, well, maybe if they could sort, they could allow you to sort by series first and then narrow it down by suit name, because yeah, yeah no, I, like that's some really of them. A good point. I like that. Yeah, some of them have so many suits in the series. You know, like let's go over and. For example, um, the one that I was looking at earlier was this one right here. And double I was looking, O, that's the one I was thinking of. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for the Susanoo. Isn't the Susanoo one? Yeah, the yep. Susanoo. And I was like, ugh, I don't want to have to, you know. And it's just, again, it's going to get worse as time goes on, not better. Um, and then this one is probably my biggest complaint. If I were to uh, put these all in order, there's no sort separation according to level of experience and time playing the game. Everyone is thrown in together. Um that's that's really frustrating for beginners. I would I would bet that that is the number one reason people stop playing the game because it's overwhelming and difficult and they're thrown everything instead of getting things in stages. I mean, they had the right idea in mind when they did the arenas because story mode three, story mode six, you know, once you get those beat, then you can go on to um, beating free missions, getting the arena, getting six, three on three arena. But everything else is just... It's just very overwhelming. And if they could release the game to new players in the same way they've released it in the last year, so gradually adding the option to have red stars, you know, six stars, gradually adding on marks and things like that, you know, for people who are brand new to the game, just so that it can be less overwhelming. Well, would, did we talk about having a better tutorial on that? Um, no, we haven't talked about having a better tutorial. Like if they, mean? Lead, they lead you, th like if the story mode led you through making six star parts and. Yeah, that, yeah, we don't know if they do or don't. They don't. They don't from the story mode that we just right. did. And yeah. like, there's not really a tutorial on these sorts of things. And I feel like it would reduce the drop off. Yeah. If the, com if the game held your hand more about, wahoo, that guy. Nice. That was pretty impressive, dude. I, see, I have the stuff to do three more parts. I just, and I don't have the new Gundam head, but I don't have a second one. Just, uh, anyway. Yeah. And I have the Chalum Shield and I have. Oh, I love the, his little decals. Yeah. Oh, um, wait, what was he? I'm going to so die against him. And I forgot to change my stupid back again. Banshee back. He's a long shooter anyway. So I'd have to go up against mm -hmm. him as a long shooter. And I am so going to die. <laughs> Okay, remind me to do the Banshee back after we're done, after I'm done with this. But, um, okay, so yeah, the no separation according to level of experience and time playing the game, everyone throwing it in together. So it just makes makes it very discouraging to new players to be going up against this guy, you know? Yeah, uh, reducing the barrier of entry that I think is We're going to long shoot each other to Ooh, death. nice. You uh, did a nice sidestep there. <laughs> and then didn't. And then didn't do anything. Okay, all right. Then the, my last thing is, is kind of like what... Um, Nolan was saying it's a huge game. Um, and since the last update, I don't know if you did I win? I wasn't even watching. How did that happen? You beam gunned him to death. Oh, well, thank you, beam gun. <laughs> he, he beam gunned you or something similar. Yeah. That did quite a bit of damage, but yeah. Well, awesome. I apologize that I, I squished you with such an amazing suit that you had. Um, anyway, so since the last update, I've actually had to lower the quality of my videos in order to get them to render because I don't have enough space on my phone. I went through every single application and moved every single one of them over to my SD card, and I still do not have enough space on my phone. And that's a 60 gig phone, which I don't think is insignificant. Is that insignificant? I don't know what phones are these days. You kid, kids in your phones these days. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm just, it's been... It's just a huge game, okay? 
Uh, I wish they could find a way to have it, allow us to have it hosted on our, um, on the, whatchamacallit, uh, what's it called? Uh, what am I trying to say on the SD card mm. so that we can, you know, keep playing it and it not have to have it running out of space all the time. Because unfortunately my video recorder, um, puts the videos on, um, the internal storage. And so, and, and then same with my, the, the software I use to render, it renders to internal storage and you can't, you can't change those. I don't know why, why they don't let me change them. Anyway, so those are our, our biggest cons or biggest complaints about the game. Um, I like to know what you guys think of those. Um, why don't we go ahead and go into pros now? And Nolan, you're up. Uh, I like collecting in general, and I like collecting gunpla in real life. So a game that lets me collect gunpla is awesome for me. Yeah. Uh, I love that. Um, another hypothetical scenario I just thought of that would be awesome is if you could build a... A, a, not a real gun plot in the game, but if you could access all the parts to build a picture of them in the game. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, um, you know, like Barbie has dress up <laughs> programs. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. So I want to like be able to pre build a gun plot out of spare parts. Yeah. That would why be do you? Cool. Why? Because aesthetic reasons, one. And two, because I like to build real gun plot, and it would be nice if I could have a program that let me like pre-build one mm -hmm. so I could see which parts I like to mash together again, uh, together before I go out and buy all the parts to do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like to paint, mix and match and this game lets you do that. So yeah. um, I like the customization of ev pretty much everything yeah. and you can even customize more now with sub slotting. You can make parts look like other parts, but behave like other ones. Yep. I haven't really explored that option too much because I only have the two parts read right now. Uh, they're too precious. <laughs> <laughs> too precious to me. Uh, but in a, in a month or two, I'll yeah. be able to mess around with that more when I have more parts to do it with. Yeah. Oh, right. Actually, you I said that. Said I actually said yeah. that. So, yeah, modeling, modeling aspect, aspect. pre-testing real life. So, like, you build the best gun plot you can in the game. That makes me want to build it in real life. Go out and yeah. buy all the parts. Which, I mean, um, this is all... I, that's probably... I mean, they. I'm sure they... That's a happy consequence. You know, they're like, they're advertising for their own model kits, you know? Right. Well, they've said like, hey, can you build this in real life? You know, and they put up. Oh, that's like true. That. Yeah. They're actively um, encouraging it, guys. I, I buy Gunpla, so don't even worry about me. But um, <laughs> uh, I haven't finished. I need to clean out everything in this. My yeah. unfollowers. Um, but yeah, I, um, Sniper 2, please. So I can um, build that. Thank you, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the challenges I like I like some of the challenges, especially when you don't have to have a specific part to complete it. I know that's a bit of a gripe on the present um, event we're having, but I do like I really did like Ono's like Ono's challenges because mm -hmm. you don't are fun. they're kind of open they're just hard and they're open, but it's you could find, there was a lot of different ways you could get it done. Yeah, and you found the way that worked for you, and it was really challenging and. Uh, I, it was really interesting to see people step their game up before and after Ona's challenge. Even mm -hmm. the same people, like how they yeah. thought about, like how they really had to think it through to to get it done. It's not. It wasn't just about raw power. It was about thinking and problem solving, and I like that a lot. And, and battling, battling you, and you died. Oh, of course I did. <laughs> um, okay, what's your next one? Uh, the graphics. I actually, it's a it's a beautiful game. I think it, it, looks it is fantastic. so beautiful. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. ready for me? Okay, because my first one was graphics. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they put a lot of thought into the style. Yeah, it's what got me hooked, me hooked in the first place. When I saw Lyconius playing, I was like, hey, I actually, I will actually like, I want to play that, you know? So I, you know what? I'm going to see if I can beat him. I haven't gone up against him. I found him, this guy on Reddit. Um, anyway, yeah, the graphics are what got me hooked in the game, on the game in the first place. It's what actually got me interested in playing. And um, I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, that's my first one. Then second, and again, not in many order, though that first one was, um, the gameplay and as, I don't know, I complain a lot about it because of my phone and unable to see things, but I actually really, really love fighting these battles. They're a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's fun to actually fight and shoot and kill. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, it is. Um, and then also, uh, let's see, the challenging missions they've given us lately, like the Ultimates and even 
the extreme missions, you know, they're not easy to beat one try. I mean, sometimes I do beat them in one try, but a lot of the time I have to take, you know, more than do more than one time, especially with the guarding and the not dying, not having any injuries or whatever, you yeah. know, it just, it makes it more interesting. And I've really enjoyed that. Yeah. Guard wants to take no damage. It can be difficult. It can be frustrating, but it's, it's also, I like that, you know? Um, yeah. If you beat everything on the first try, it's not, that not as good. Yeah. Okay. I love the organizational aspect. I love sorting and organizing. Um, I feel ownership over the game because I'm able to keep parts. I want upgrade them, um, sell them, you know, I love that. So if I could, if there's a little bit even more ownership, that would be cool. But um, I really do like that aspect of the game. And then the last thing for me is the community. Honestly, I absolutely love the community that surrounds this game and people are super willing to help and share tactics and tips and things like that. And that's been pretty much across the board that I've found, you know, Reddit on YouTube and my discord server um, all over. And I, I'm positive that's a nod to the creators because, you know, if they were stingy, you know, I don't know, somewhere higher up has been sharing and they, they just, they created that sort of um, atmosphere, you know, I don't know, look like when I don't know what your thoughts are, but yeah, no, um, I mean, it, it's a leadership thing. Yeah. Right? Leading from the top down. Yeah. If the leaders were awful, then probably it would be awful. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, the video went longer than I expected it to. Sorry about that, Lyconius, because his parents are still here. and I forgive you. He forgives me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Um, go away. Hopefully I'll be able to get this to go live tonight, but I'm not sure if I can, if we'll have time. But uh, there's like two days left on it, and the link will be in the description. Um, yeah, comment below. Let it, let me know um, what you think of our complaints and our loves for the game. And that's pretty much it. Do you want to have any say anything? Have any say anything? No. Uh, yeah. Let's have a good discussion about it. Yeah. A good uplifting. I don't want... This is not a bash the game thing. So if you hate the game, just don't and comment. And you're just going to complain about how you never get anything. Which is fine sometimes. Like, I, I complain to Andrew, but I don't... He's thrown his phone a couple of times. Uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Um, but, you know, I don't go around doing that. No, he doesn't. So um, anyway, so that's pretty much it. Uh, hit the like and the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon if you want to be alerted to future videos. Come and join my Discord server. The link is in the description. And don't forget to enter the giveaway for those awesome GBGW branded headsets. Yes, get free stuff, please. Yeah, free GBGW stuff. So that's it. I will talk to you all later. Bye.